Finally, it's happening. After a long time not being able to see our family and friends, we are going to Ukraine. We have a lot to catch up with and the best place to do it is of course mountains. We are going to the Carpathian Mountains. Specifically, we are planning to spend a week in Mikulichin and discover the area around. I was hiking these mountains from age 6, so I feel pretty comfortable here. But despite this, there are plenty of areas where I've never been. The mountain we are going to hike today is located in one of such areas. We are hiking Mount Hamak, which is translated as hamster. The mountain is called so by locals for its similarity with the back of the hamster. This day we dedicate to the short trail to history. And it's a pretty easy hike compared to the previous one, so everyone could join this time. We are going to hike the Dovbush Trail, which is named after Alexa Dovbush, the leader of the Carpathian rebels. Dovbush was called Carpathian Robin Hood because he robbed tycoons and distributed their property among peasants. Thank you. 
The most interesting feature of the trail is the caves. According to the legend, the trunks with Alexa Dobush's gold are hidden there. An entrance to the cave is visible only once a year, the night before the Ivana Kupala day. This holiday is celebrated on July 7th. Unfortunately, nobody is able to take treasures since they are enchanted. A person who takes treasure from the cave will turn into the stone as soon as the gold shines on the moon. So we decided to leave the treasure where it belongs and just enjoy this pleasant hike. In the contest to visit as many family-friendly places as possible, we found this mini zoo, which represents the Carpathian fauna. Kids had a lot of fun feeding these animals. And the animals looked happy also. Near the zoo we stopped by the park museum Carpathian in miniature. This is an outdoor museum that showcases miniature copies of the interesting places from this area. And of course we couldn't skip Yaremche, with its famous market and the waterfall Probi. Probi waterfall, one of the largest waterfalls on the Prut river. The river has broken its way, that is why the name of the waterfall is Probi, which means break. Prut river starts from Mount Haverla, the highest mountain in Ukraine. And they have the common legend. According to the legend, a young man called Prut lived in one of the Carpathian villages. Once he met a beautiful girl in the forest. Her name was Haverla and Prut fell in love with her right away. He wanted to be with his beloved girl all the time. But when Haverla's father, the mountain king, found out about their love story, he got angry and forbade his daughter to date Prut. Haverla couldn't resign herself to her father's decision so she committed suicide by jumping into the abyss. Later, Haverla Mountain appeared in that place. When Prut found out that Haverla was dead, he desperately ran to the mountain. Nobody has met him after it, but soon people noticed a new river flowing under Haverla Mountain. This river was given the name Prut. Beautiful legend. This was an unforgettable visit. But unfortunately all good things come to an end. We don't know yet when we'll be back next time. But I sure will see you again soon. In the next video.